All right, I've tried to find the least windiest spot in all of today. Um, and it looks like we're going to be inside. So, um, today's episode, we're going to, uh, I'm going to show you my favourite barrow tactics. Um, more specifically, my favourite barrow lures. Um, and not just mine, because I've only uh, found that one lure has worked for me. Um, and I'll show you that one. But also, what's been working this year in, um, in reference to barramundi. So, um, we got two hard bodies, maybe three if I feel like it, and uh, definitely two soft plastics. Um, the lure, my, um, my favourite lure for Barra, the Squidgy Wriggler Red Gum or Blood Worm, uh, either colour, really, they're, they're actually pretty similar. Um, I'm not going to run through this lure too much, because there's really not that much to show you about it. It is um, it's basically just a soft plastic with a curly tail. One of the most uh, basic and known soft plastics uh, for really anything around here. And, um, or in Australia, really. You, you, I've caught most fish on these. So, um, but the main fish, uh, I love catching on these things, uh, are a barra. And I've actually caught all three of my barra um, on this thing. Not many barra, but definitely this lure. All on the same, uh, it's got a, a, a TCG head, uh, one sixth of an ounce. Uh, my favorite uh, weight for barramundi. And um, so yeah, that red color got a bit of black on the top. Um, it just seems to drive the barra pretty crazy. I did catch my third barra on this a couple of days ago, last Wednesday. And um, couldn't record it because there were so many people there uh, where I was fishing, but it wasn't that big, it was about 50 centimeters. But, um, so a pretty recent catch. I, I've caught my barra for the season. I'm pretty happy with that. So, um, yeah, that was that was pretty fun to, to catch. And it, it went nuts. It gave me a pretty good bite for its size. Okay, next off plastic, the uh, Z-Man Pearl. Uh, it's like a white color with a, ooh, teething jig head. It's actually, um, I haven't caught a fish on it. I missed a very good opportunity. I'll show you that. Did you see that? I saw that. I saw that, Benny. Yes. And um, it's what's been working for uh, freshwater river barra in my area. I've seen countless barra caught on them, actually. And a bloke got a very nice 70 centimeter one um, on this exact same wheel, but he was using weedless hooks. Um, I use uh, uh, jig heads, uh, mainly for the better hookup rate. Ooh. But yeah, nothing much about that. A little paddle tail and um, that white colour. It's actually a very basic lure when you think about it. And um, But it does catch fish. Alright, on to the hard bodies now. Um, what hard bodies have been working for Barra? Something like this. A very popular um, Australian Barra Monday lure. And uh, I guess you could catch them in Papua New Guinea with this kind of deal. But... Um, not that big, more of a trolling lure with the size of that bib. And the profile of it is um, fairly weird. I've never seen a profile like that before, maybe in like a barra bomber or something like that. But yeah, kind of a clearish, goes to a yellow, then to like a, a, almost a gold really, on top. So yeah, that's what's, um, that's what's going down for hard body number one, very large bib. Probably more for trolling um, for your barramundi. Um, and uh, I've actually seen a bloke catch quite a few on uh, Facebook with these kind of deal. So um, they were very good fish as well. So that's hard body number one. Hard body number two, now this one is um, pretty amazing. I find it pretty amazing. But here it is it's a tiny little brim lure or flathead lure or something like that. 
but that is what the Barramundi are biting on. And um, some, uh, most of the time, actually, in the freshwater river. Um, I use a different colour, and so does someone else, and they call it a very nice fish, 80 centimetres last year, um, on this exact same size and profile. So, um, a good option. Very bright colours. I'm not sure if this colour is going to work. Um, maybe something in like a gold or something like that. But a very something to think about. Something to go with a barrel bite that. And um, obviously they are jigged or slow rolled and wound just along the weed banks or rock bars or anything like that. And um, that's what a barrel um, just might annoy to. Um, Many times, with the amount of bait around, uh, I've been told this, and it's actually a very good, very good idea. If the amount of bait, we saw quite a lot of bait down at my uh, the spot the other day. Really, really big bony broom and mullets, about that big. So you got to think if a barrow has been chewing on that all day, and um, on big mullets, do you think he would want to keep eating big mullets? Like, do you think, like, they're just like you and me, they fill up. And um, if you got, uh, if you were full and you got given um, a big lure or a small lure, what do you think you'd take? A lot of, a lot of you would probably say none because you're full. But um, if you were to, ha if you had to take one, um, or you had the urge to take one, uh, what would you take, a small one or a big one? So, thanks for watching today's episode of Bullfight Fishing. I know it's not fishing, um, it's just a bit of tactics. Uh, while I try and figure out why I can't catch fish while the camera's on. Um, so, it's just something to chew on. And um, something, and it's, um, I think it's April. Yeah, it's April now, the barra are slowly going off the bite. Um, towards the end of April, they'll be very, very hard to find until um, until next year, the start of September or October. Um, sadly, um, November is when the close season starts, so you really have to get your time in. Um, and there's a bit more time when the barrow season opens up again in the following year. So we're, um, I'm hopefully gonna try and rip into a couple more. Um, my brother is going out barrow fishing sometime soon, not sure whether I'll lend him the camera or not, um, but hopefully they get something, and um, so thanks for watching another episode of Buff Bite Fishing, and uh, see you next time.